All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress with iPage. So let's go to iPage.com. And it would help if I typed it properly. And we're going to hit login. And then we're going to log in using our iPage username and password. And once in, we're going to click WordPress. It's already in my favorites because I've clicked it before, but it won't be there for you. You need to go down to website and hit WordPress down here. And that's going to take you to their Mojo Marketplace. And I, I'm not entirely sure why they run things through Mojo, but they do. And there will be a big old install button. If you're getting a warning that's saying that your account uh, doesn't have a domain associated with it or something in a yellow box, it just means you need to wait another day or so before you can go through this process. So if that's the case, come back to this maybe tomorrow or the next day and you'll see this screen. So we're going to try install. And it'll ask you for some... Uh, some details here, which, di which directory you want to put it in for you, you can just have it in the, uh, the root directory. So that just means when someone types in your domain name, in this case, tyes.ca, that will be the WordPress uh, blog and, and website. And if you wanted it to be in a, in a subdirectory, you could create one called uh, blog. But we don't want someone to have to go to tyes.ca slash blog. We just want them to have to go to tyes.ca to get to our WordPress installation. So let's check this domain. It's going to take a couple seconds here, maybe longer depending on your uh, your internet connection. Just kind of twiddle your thumbs and wait for this to, to inspect the uh, the files on your server and the connection between your domain and your your account, your hosting account, and just making sure that everything's okay before it decides that uh, it's going to give you the green light. And it looks like uh, it looks like I've got a message here. It looks like files already exist in that location. If you proceed, if we proceed, some files may be overwritten. I'd like to proceed. So it's detected that there are some files already in that folder. That's true. There's a there's a home file in there, and there's some other ones that will display a temporary page. We don't care about that temporary page because we're going to replace it with our WordPress site. So I'm just going to hit continue. And I like to see the advanced options uh, just because that's who I am. So I'm going to click that. And I'm also going to have the agreement checked because that's necessary. So uh, this is the name of your site, T-Y-E-S, for these guys. Uh, the new the username and password um, these will be blurred out in the video but you guys are going to want to copy this stuff down so select whatever your uh, your user and password name uh, are going to be here and your username and password and make sure to keep that stuff in a safe place because you're going to need it later there will be a confirmation email at the end of this which will contain this type of information um, sorry, not a confirmation email, but a pa confirmation page with this information that you can copy it from. Um, but yeah, so in this in this situation, you're going to want to uh, have that stuff available for later. So make sure to copy it down. And I'm going to change that to my email address because I'm the admin admin on this uh, administrator. Yeah, so that's me. And the password, um, I'm going to change the password so it doesn't matter that it shows up here. So this this info is going to be redundant actually by the time that this video goes live. So I can actually just leave all of this. And you click install now. Page New page will load. And it'll have a little uh, arrow with view WordPress, uh, view progress here. And there will be a loading bar at the top. You can kind of see it grayed out behind the, uh, the, the light box effect they've got going on. I'm not going to find a theme. So right down here, there's a no thanks. Um, we're going to click the no thanks. And then we're just going to wait for this, this green loady bar to continue until it's finished. And... Uh, this can take a couple minutes. So I guess uh, maybe do some jumping jacks, get out of your chair, stretch your neck, go make a tea, 
cheese and crackers, whatever you're feeling like doing. Uh, go take a selfie with your cat. Put that up on YouTube. Hopefully you get some hits on that. And when it's done, you can hit view credentials. And I'm going to do that because I didn't copy this. I didn't even listen to my own advice, but I'm going to view these credentials again. These credentials are going to be different when this video goes live, so it doesn't matter that this stuff is visible to you guys. I'm not going to bother editing and blurring this stuff out, but this is very important information. So you're going to want to copy all of that and keep it in a safe place. Uh, for me, I'm actually going to leave this window open. I'm going to create, um, open this in a new tab. So I'm going to right click that and I'm going to do open link in a new tab. And I, I will have my email address copied and ready to paste and the password which will no longer be relevant when you watch this video I'm going to paste that in and you're going to want to click remember me I'm not going to do that for now and we're going to log into our WordPress installation so now you actually do have we're not going to save this but you're going to want to save it so if you're in Chrome or Safari and it asks you to save you could save that password if you like and now we actually do have uh, WordPress installed. It looks like it's struggling to load the full dashboard, so I'm going to refresh that page so you can, so my my page looks like yours will. And now we've got WordPress in, WordPress installed, which is a small part of the battle. And in the next video, we're going to configure WordPress because right now it's just been preloaded with a bunch of junk we don't need and it doesn't yet have some of the features that we're going to want. So continue on to the next video when you are ready to configure WordPress to look the way you want it to.